We just laid the foundation for a food forest. We're turning this empty lot into, hopefully soon, a thriving food forest. We planted 30 of the easiest to grow, most productive foods in Florida. A selection of plants that are ideal for laying the foundation of a food forest or starting a survival garden. Here we have elderberry, one of the vibrant plants of this community. We have cassava or yucca, we have chaya, lemongrass, sweet potato, elderberry, mulberry, Cuban oregano, Tithonia, or Mexican or Bolivian sunflower. We have Plecranthus barbatus, the toilet paper plant. Nopal cactus. Okinawa spinach and longevity spinach. We have African blue basil, katuk, rosemary, galangal ginger, and turmeric. There's pigeon peas or gandules, moringa, southern pea or cow pea or seminole pea. We have seminole pumpkin. Everglades tomato, papaya, Ethiopian kale or amara, cranberry hibiscus, molokia or Egyptian spinach, Hopi red dye amaranth, Biden's alba or Spanish needle, sorrel or roselle, lufa and daikon radish. This is the Deuces Food Forest, started by Ramona Brayboy about a year ago. I recently met her at a SUAC meeting, the Sustainable Urban Agriculture Coalition here in St. Pete, and she told me she's building up a food forest in the Deuces, and I instantly said, I want to be involved, I want to play a role in that. She has the passion, the dedication, the commitment, and she's bringing out the community. And so I'm bringing in my experience and my community as well to help her build up this food forest. Now we're not talking about just nibbles and salads, although I love those too. We're talking about a lot of food. We're talking about building a food forest and a thriving garden that you can survive on if you need to. So what we've done is we have planted 30 of the easiest to grow foods right here in Florida. And while we're showing you how to do this, we have provided you the resource, the Food Forest Starter Bundle, to be able to do this with us. It includes 30 of the easiest to grow, most productive foods that require the least uh, water, that have the fewest pests trying to eat them, that require the least ma maintenance and, uh, and fertility, plants that can thrive in this difficult climate. We are elated to be on this journey with you, helping you to break free from the global industrial food system, break free from the grocery store, and grow a lot of your own food and grow your community.